Hellbite! Mamala yung magusto, diba? Ano ang regular ilaw? Mmm! Look at that! Walang buta! So in cooking leche flan, you need the following. First, of course, the egg. I use 16 pieces of it. The evaporated milk, which is one half cup. The condensed milk, which is one cup. And, of course, we need a container for this. Where, a place where we are going to put all the ingredients that we need. So this time, I used 16 pieces of egg. Kasi gusto kong richer ang aking leche flan. The more eggs you use, the richer it gets. O, oh, diba? Taray. So, when, when cracking eggs, you, you will start from the top of it, crack the top of it, and separate the egg yolk from its egg white. So, when it comes to mixing, mix the egg yolks in one direction. Then put the evaporated milk, not at once, but maybe little by little. Because in this way, the milk is really mixed in with the egg yolks. And after that, the evaporated milk, ah, this is condensed milk, hala, it's a condensed milk. And when it comes to mixing condensed milk, you should mix it thoroughly. Make sure na yung egg yolks at saka yung mga milk na hinalo natin is Ma, ma mix talaga sila. Mix in all together. So yun. And after that, it's time for our caramelized sugar, if that's the right term for that. So this time I used one cup, but to be honest, I didn't really measure it. Then I put a little bit of water, maybe 100 ml of water. And before I turn on the pan, I mix it first para, para equal yung distribution ng ating sugar then let it boil until it's golden brown and when it's golden brown like this you have to pour it into a container I don't know what's the specific term for this then scatter the the caramel sugar para equal yung ating sugar so there you go look how beautiful that is so when it comes to then cooking time. So this technique is really important when it comes to to making lecture flan because in this way, ma avoid natin yung mga bubbles natin sa ating lecture flan. So in sifting, I really use the finest sifter I I could find. And ma kita mo naman yung tulo ng ating sifter napaka fine na talaga. So I think this is the best way kasi mawawala yung mga bubbles bubbles sa ating leche flan. And of course, hindi lang natin isang beses si sift ng ating ingredient. So sa pag si sift, the next step na ginawa ko is si sift na naman yung ating ingredients. Para 100% sure talaga na walang bubbles na mamumuo sa ating leche flan pag naluto na ito. So, tinakpan ko and I cooked it for at least 40 minutes or more or less. Oh, yes. oh, wow! Oh my God! Oh, my God! Wow! No, but I got your friend. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. 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 Hey, how about it? You like it, right? You like it, right? Look at that. There's no blood.